chicken plus gun plus ye yes the correct pronunciation is chicken ganie the word chicken ganie is derived from a word in the kima konde language meaning to become contorted Chicken gunia is an infection caused by the chicken gunia virus. The genus of this virus is Alpha virus and the family is Toga viridae. This round thing is chicken gunia virus. Toga viridae comprises 27 registered viruses. 16 of them cause infection in humans. Alpha viruses are lipid enveloped with a diameter of 50 to 70 nanometer whose genome is single-stranded positive sense RNA approximately 12,000 nucleotides in length. Alpha viruses are not communicable. That means you will not get chikungunya infection if you stay or sleep with a chikungunya patient. So now the question arises, how do we get chikungunya infection? The virus is transmitted from human to human by the bites of infected female mosquitoes. The most commonly involved mosquitoes are Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. You can see the pictures of Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. These mosquitoes also transmit dengue virus. It is aegypti is more common in tropical areas whereas it is albopictus is found in tropical areas and also in temperate zones. The virus may rarely be transmitted from mother to newborn around the time of birth. To date, no infants have been found to be infected with chikungunya virus through breastfeeding. So, breastfeeding is encouraged. In theory, the virus can be spread through blood transfusion during viremic period, which is first two or three days after the onset of illness. To date, there is no known reports of this happening. Clinical features of chikungunya. The incubation period is 1 to 12 days, most typically 3 to 7 days. The disease may be asymptomatic, but generally is not as 72% to 97% of those infected will develop symptoms. The most common clinical features are abrupt onset of high fever, arthralgias, which is polyarticular, migratory and mostly involves small joints, muscle pain, and papular or maculopapular skin rash. The joint pain usually lasts for a few days or may be prolonged to weeks or even years in a few cases. Hence, the virus can cause acute, subacute, or chronic disease. People at risk of severe disease include newborns, older adults, and people with medical conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, or heart disease. Chikungunya normally do not cause death. But if there is severe comorbid condition, then it may contribute to the cause of death. Diagnosis of chikungunya. Complete blood count may show leukopenia. Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay or ELISA may confirm IgM and IgG anti-chikungunya antibodies. IgM antibodies are highest 3 to 5 weeks after the onset of disease and present for about 2 months. Reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. The results are normally available 4 to 14 days after specimen received. The blood must be collected for this test in the viremic period. These two boxes show some differences between the clinical features of chikungunya and dengue. Although the clinical features greatly overlaps, but if patient complains of 
high fever, severe arthralgia, leukopenia, and rash, then the probability of chikungunya will be higher than dengue. But if there is neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, hemorrhage, and shock, then the probability of dengue will be higher than chikungunya. Treatment and prevention. At present, there is no specific drug or vaccine that can directly kill the virus. Paracetamol can be used to reduce fever and pain. NSAIDs, corticosteroids, and physiotherapy can reduce pain. Chloroquine phosphate may be helpful for refractory arthralgias. Now a big question arises from the bottom of the screen. Can we give aspirin to the chikungunya patients? Yes, we can give aspirin to them. But after being 100% confirmed that they have chikungunya and they do not have dengue or co-infection with chikungunya and dengue. Prevention. The only way of preventing chikungunya is by avoiding mosquito bites. Yes, we can avoid mosquito bites by using air conditioning or window or door screens to keep mosquitoes outside. Sleeping under a mosquito bed net. Using repellents containing DEET, picaridine, or IR3535 compounds, treating clothing with permethrin, reducing the number of natural and artificial water filled containers in the vicinity, wearing clothing which minimizes skin exposure, using coils or other insecticide vaporizers. Epidemiology of chikungunya. First known outbreak occurred in Tanzania in 1952. In 2005, a major outbreak of chikungunya occurred in the islands of Indian Ocean. Since 2005, India, Indonesia, Maldives, Myanmar, and Thailand have reported over 1.9 million cases. Since 2013, local transmission has been identified in 45 countries or territories throughout the Americas with more than 1.7 million suspected cases reported to Pan-American Health Organization. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. You can also follow me in other platforms.